channel so today i'm gonna be doing a little hygiene video on how to smell good all day the first thing that i would say is take a shower every single day because if you don't you're obviously gonna smell like but you gotta clean off all the dirt all the yo sweat everything just clean it all off i personally take a shower at night and then i clean my hair and my body and then in the morning i take a shower where i just clean my body and i don't clean my hair because i did it the night before I personally cannot tell you when to wash your hair and when not to because I wash my hair every day. And I know it's not good for your hair to do all that, but I do it because if not, like, I just, my head just feels itchy and I just, I'll be making myself paranoid. I don't know. So I wash my hair every day, but you don't have to. Like, I know some people who wash it a couple times a week or once a week or whenever. Just make sure that your hair is not dirty. One thing I do to make my hair smell really good is I put in Maui Moisture. This is like, um an oil mist and it makes my hair smell like my conditioner which is it smells bomb as hell like it smells good and don't spray too much because it'll make your hair oily so in the shower i use these gloves and i use this just to wash my body i don't use these for my private parts and i don't use this for my face um i just use this to wash my body you know and i take dove bar soap dove bar soap is like one of the best bar soaps to use or any bar soap really but what you want to do is take some bar soap and literally like layer that shit all over your gloves make sure that your gloves are really like bubbly from the soap you want a lot of soap and scrub your body and make sure that your whole body is layered with the bar soap you're gonna wash that off and then i take the same gloves and usually i use the same soap but i ran out and i don't know if they make it anymore so i i'm just using this it's, uh shea butter and manuka honey i guess and it smells pretty good then I just put like a lot on there and I do that all over my body. I do the same thing, you know, scrub my whole body and then I wash it off. So the key to smelling good is to make sure that you wash your body with bar soap and then liquid soap because this like because the scent from your soap will still stay on you. Another tip is use a um, sugar scrub or whatever type of exfoliating scrub. This is just a shea sugar scrub. Don't use it every day though. It's not that great for your skin to do it every day, but I do it about twice a week. And then I also use this before I shave because it just takes off all the dead skin so that you get a cleaner shave. When you shave, use a men's razor because it gives you a cleaner shave. Also, I don't use shaving gel because that's just not the move, but I use Johnson's baby oil gel. They also have the like, I think it's like a cocoa butter one. I use this and I use coconut oil to shave instead of um, shaving gel. I do not exfoliate my face every single day, but when I do, I use this little glove to, you know, just take off any dead skin, any just nastiness from my face. Wash your face every day though, because if you don't, like that's just like, it's a good thing to refresh yourself. In the morning time, if you don't take a shower, at least wash your face and brush your teeth every single day. Like, it's a must. And then I have a little like rag that I use to like wash my private parts because one thing that's nasty is please do not wash your body, your face, and your private parts all with the same thing because that's just like a please do not put any scented soap, any body soap, bar soap, whatever down there because if it gets in your hole, like if it gets in your vagina, it will cause an infection. It'll throw off your pH balance and everything. It's like, no girl, don't use that. I use Queen B Bar Soap, which is for down there. Like, it's good for down there. Um, Do not use Summer's Eve, cause like that can cause uh, infections. I know some people also use this soap, which is Dove Baby Soap to clean down there. I mean, I used to use this and I never got, I never had any problems with it. But just make sure never to get any type of soap, whether it's for down there or not, never get it inside of you but when you are washing down there make sure that you do clean it good like you can still clean it good without getting it inside of you just be careful i would say wash your body with warm or hot water not cold water because cold water it's just like it doesn't take off all the germs but hot water is not really good for your skin because it can like dry it out and shit but i like my water on fire like i like my water hot hot like the devil's dick if you don't like your water hot at least have it warm because cold water it's better for your skin but it's really not going to take off all the dirt so when you get out of the shower make sure that you moisturize because you don't want to be ashy around here and this is baby lotion jargons whatever and i use that um on my elbows my knees my ankles and my hands and then on my whole body to moisturize because sometimes if i use like a lotion i'll get eczema 
So I use coconut oil because I never like have any problems with it. Coconut oil is very good to moisturize with if you have sensitive skin or if you just don't like lotion. And when you're in the shower, you can use um, like a shower gel that's like from Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works, whatever. Don't get this anywhere near your private parts and don't put it on parts that you know are sensitive. If you just have all over sensitive skin, don't use this because it'll, it'll fuck up your skin. Like me, sometimes I get eczema so I don't use shit like this but it does make you smell good lotion is a very big part of smelling good because most of the time lotion stays longer than like body mist and perfume these lotions are from my favorite perfumes but they don't have a very strong scent put scented lotion on places that you know are not sensitive some people put this all over their body if you can do that then do that because it'll make you smell really good i put body mist and perfume but i don't have the body mist for my perfume like let me see where's my perfume at maybe i'm chipping but I don't know where the perfume that I use every day is. I'm going to show you different perfume. This is Viva La Juicy perfume. But usually I use Victoria's Secret Tea's perfume. So what I do is, um, usually I would say to spray a body mist, spray that first. Make sure that your scents go together though. Don't mix like a vanilla thing with like floral and with fruity. Like it's just not going to smell good and it'll just give you a headache. So make sure that your scents can smell can all like smell good together body mist you can spray it however much you want but perfume is more expensive so what i do is take vaseline and rub it wherever you want to so i just put vaseline on my wrist and then on my neck and what you want to do is you take your perfume and you spray 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 and vaseline helps to make your perfume stay longer like it'll make it stay all day put on deodorant deodorant is super important make sure that when you put on deodorant your armpits are dry because you don't want your armpits to still be wet when you put on deodorant because it won't stick and also like that's why you need to put on deodorant before you work out because if you put on deodorant like after you're all sweaty and shit first of all you're just getting your deodorant dirty and second of all it's just not going to stick because the surface is wet it needs to stick to like a dry surface this is the dove carrying coconut deodorant this smells pretty good and so what I do, you know, do it a lot, like, I swipe it up and down, I go like that, like, a lot, because I just like it to smell good. Then on top of the stick deodorant, I use a spray deodorant because it just makes it, like, smell even better. One thing I also know is that some people, like, start to smell in the creases of their body. Some people take deodorant and just, like, put it right there, right there, and then behind their knees, just, like, a little bit, don't put, like, a lot, you know, just, like, one little swipe. And uh, that'll make it smell good because sometimes if it's a hot summer day, you know, like, it's creased, it might sweat or something. It'll help it and, like, to make it not as sweaty and make it smell good. Let me tell you this right now. Never put any um, perfume or deodorant on your underwear. Because I know some girls, they, like, spray their underwear or they, like, don't do that. It can cause an infection and it's just, like, it's not good to put anything down there. Because if it is smelling that bad to where you have to put perfume and deodorant down there go to a doctor like just go honestly i think that's it for this video because i don't really have any more tips for y'all so i hope that this helped you to know how to smell good you feel me thank you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it helped you out or whatever if it did please make sure to subscribe like comment if you subscribe make sure to hit that bell to be notified every single time that i post and also follow me on my social media they're down below in the description box anyways bye y'all